Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the next session. In this session, I'm going to do a case study uh, on this website called Amazon.com or you can also do it on Amazon.in uh, depending upon your location. Now, uh, the case study uh, depends on multiple uh, factors within Selenium. Like one of them will be, we will be finding the number of links on this web page. Then I'm going to show you how you can get certain uh, parameters out of those links so let's start with the assignment so what I'm going to do is on this amazon.n I'll right click and inspect somewhere okay and then first thing I'm going to find is how many links are there on this complete page okay. so uh, you all know link is something uh, let me just show you an example of a link like here if you see this is a link a link has an anchor tag it also has a mandatory href. Href stands for hyper reference link. Uh, it, this href is an attribute where uh, you will be navigated to if you click on it. Then we have this uh, in, in between this anchor tag and closing anchor tag, there is some text written. This text is the visible text. So when you click on this visible text, it will take you to this particular URL. Right. So this is, this is an example of a link. Now here I'm going to do a control F and I'm going to just type double slash A. So you can see when I type double slash A, it is giving me 514 links. That means on this particular page, there are 514 links or these anchor tags. So this we have got through the developer tool. Now I'm going to write a code in such a way that we will get these links, right? So that's the first scenario. Then I will take one example here. Let's say Amazon pay. Okay. So if I go to this Amazon pay here, you can see that the text associated with this Amazon pay, I'm going to write the code so that I can get this href value right so uh, let's see what code we can write to get the link out of it and the last scenario i'm going to write is it's a little extension of uh, both of them so what we are going to do is we're going to traverse over each link and going to find its link text and the url okay so this is third scenario i'm going to work so uh, for this in my code let me just close all these things. Yeah, in my code only, I'll uh, create a new package. Let's say I call it as case study. Okay, and in this, I'm going to create one class. Let's say I call it Amazon project. Okay, and I'll keep this main public static word main checked so that I don't uh, need to write main method later. And we'll get the uh, invoke browser code from somewhere. I'll copy paste the invoke browser code from here. So what, uh, and I'll also change the URL. So from here, I can simply copy this amazon.n and paste it. So what we are doing here is I'm navigating to this URL uh, with this code. How? First setting up the property, navigating, uh, I mean invoking the Chrome browser, maximizing the window, deleting all cookie and setting the page dot timeout. I'll also just add driver dot manage dot timeouts, switch timeout. I'm going to add uh, implicit weight here. Let's say I add it as a value 10 seconds. So time unit dot seconds. Okay, so this is my code for the invoke browser. Now uh, I'll write the next method. So first method I'll be public. Let's say return type I'm putting as int get link count. Okay, so this is the name of the method. Now, 
to uh, get the count first we have to get all the elements right so on my browser if i call a method called find elements instead of find element if i call method as find elements okay and pass the criteria so the criteria will be by dot see here what i have written double slash a so either you can use by dot x path and pass this double slash a or you can simply say by dot tag name and and just put a here so what what is this this means your on on your browser you're searching for all the elements which has this tag called a so what this will give you this will give you all the elements right so what is the return type of this method called find elements so the return type of this method find elements is list of web elements so what you can do is you can just get that list in a variable so I, here i can say all links okay and then here i can simply say all link dot since it's a li uh, list so if you call a method called size it will give you the number of links and that i can store in an integer or you can simply return from here so I said return all links dot size. So what this method is doing, it is giving you the list, uh, the size of this list. That means the number of elements within this list. So this was our first scenario, first part. Then in the next method, what was the next method? Uh, so next method was I am going to get uh, the URL from a link right this is the method so here i can also pass the string type for that so let's say string uh, link text here i'm passing now to get that first of all i'll identify that as an element so i'll say element uh, desired link equal to driver dot find element by dot link text and pass the value of this link text here so with this method what i'm doing whatever link text like here if i'm going to pass amazon pay so whatever link text you will pass like if you'll pass amazon pay here then uh, it will go as amazon i don't have to pass it as uh, double quotes because it's a variable right so here if you'll pass amazon pay it will go here amazon pay it will search the element with this link text called amazon pay and that web element we're going to put in this variable and then i'll here print the link dot there okay let me just before i uh, print it i'll create one string variable and i'll say uh, desired url or link url okay and here i'll say desired link dot get what there is a method called get attribute what does this method do this method gives you the value of the attribute which you are going to pass so here for me the attribute is href so this desired link url you're going to pass here right so this is my second scenario where it was asked to get the URL from a link, right? Now the last part of it is getting all the links and its URL also the text link text. So I'll say uh, get all link text and URL. Right, this is the method I'm created. I'm creating. Okay, so here the first step will be I'm going to get all the links first. So here I've got all the links. Now next step will be I have to iterate over all the links and get text out of it. So here you can use either the uh, for each loop or you can use iterator. So let's see th this code with for each loop. 
So here I'll say for web element, let's say element colon all links. Okay, let me just give a better name. So I'll say I call it a link. Now to get the link text, what is the code? So here I'll say system dot out dot println. I can say link text is link dot get text. This will give you the text. And next we need is its URL. So here itself I can say and its URL is here I can say a link dot get attribute which attribute hrefs right so what we are doing is with this we are getting the link text and its url with this code right with uh, link dot get attribute so this will run for all the elements which are there here okay just to put uh, run this code i'll put a separator also so that uh, we can see in the code. So I've added this separator here, right? So this is the third part of the case study. Now let me execute the code. So here I'll say Amazon project AP equal to new Amazon project. And then I'll say AP dot in book browser then ap dot uh, first we have invoked the browser after that uh, get url from the link so get uh, link count will be the first one and this returns an integer value so i'll say int link count equal to and we can print that for now link count dot nothing no dot is required so then after that we can say um, ap dot get all link and url that will be the last and then there is ap dot what is the name of the method get url from a link and here i'm going to pass the link text so amazon pay here it is amazon pay right so let's execute the code and see if it is working. Right click, run as Java application. So here you can see it has gone to amazon.in. Now nothing you will see here, everything will be at the back end. So here you can see it has printing all the URLs, printed it. Okay, at some places you'll see that there is no text because uh, uh, those are kind of images and some link might be hidden and don't have the URL also. Okay, but most of them have given the uh, link and its URL, right? And the total number of count which is coming on this Amazon page is 157, right? So uh, 157 links are there which are currently active. The rest they have, they are not there. Okay. So this is the scenario. This was the case study. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.